what is the purpose of being a doomer? Um, why am I a doomer? Um, I don't have a purpose with being a doomer. I do have a purpose with being a communicator. And let me just um, make sure you understand what I'm talking about there. So a communicator is somebody who expresses um, the thought that you always had but you couldn't quite put to words, but that person has taken the time or somehow through their life experience and whatever skills they've gained, they're able to articulate a thought that triggers something in you that says, yeah, that's what I think too. And Doomer is just a wrapper for that. So I have this article that I've written right here on being a Doomer that talks about what it means for me personally to be a Doomer. So this is my, my blog, climatecasino.net, right? On being a Doomer. So what does it mean for me to be a Doomer? What is the value or the purpose of that? Well, it gives me certain freedoms, I think, that other people don't have. It gives me the freedom um, to not have to engage in political conversations or watch politics on TV. It gives me the freedom to not um, take an opinion about people who are vaccinated versus those who are unvaccinated. It gives me the freedom to walk away from um, certain sorts of conversations or situations that involve things that I just know to be false. I don't have to participate in them. So um, in, in a way, there's a meditative, almost Zen-like quality to being a doomer. If we know there's a doomer, then all these other things don't matter, right? All these other things are small. What, um, you know, the queen dying is small or, or um, Barbara Walters dying or the Pope dying or what Greta Thunberg said to this guy, right? These are all small things. Um, when you understand that we are at the end of civilization, that this moment is the end of civilization, um, when you understand that this is it, these are end times we are living through. This is the end of everything. You, you pause and you take a breath, right? You, you notice things in your environment, in your life that you might otherwise have rushed past because you have all these other things that are, are just confronting you on a daily basis. It gives you um, an excuse to, um, to meditate, to enjoy a squirrel and a crow and a you know, a bunny rabbit and a blue jay all fighting over a peanut, right? It's, it gives you permission to um, also be an activist in ways that if you're filled with hope, you might never be, right? So as a Doomer, I feel compelled to volunteer in my community to um, try and keep the planet in as good a shape as I can for whatever's going to come next. I mean, being a Doomer to me is freedom. It, it is absolute total freedom because there's nothing on the other side of this, right? I'm not building for a future. I am just doing what's in the present moment, um, understanding that whatever comes next, I want to leave it in as good a shape as I can. I want to leave the planet as habitable as I can for crows and cockroaches and squirrels and everything that's going to come next. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a very deep question. What is the purpose of being a doomer? Um, you know, if I said, what's the purpose of being a Catholic? And you would say, well, to get into heaven, right? If I said, what's the purpose of being a Democrat? It'd be, well, to get progressive liberal policies enacted. What's the purpose of being, um, you know, a, a gambler, right? To make money in a casino. What's, what's the purpose of anything? It's to achieve that thing uh, to its highest regard for the benefit it can provide for you. So being a doomer to me is the opposite of that. It's sort of like, no, we are, we are at the precipice of nothingness. We are at the precipice of there being no future at all on this planet. I mean, I hope things survive, you know, 100 years from now or 200 years from now if all the nuclear power plants melt down or some other catastrophe happens. Um, but we're at that precipice. And, and as a civilization, as fellow humans at this moment, this is really unique. I mean, there, there's really never been another moment in the history of this planet, in the history of life and humans and civilization on this planet, where you could say, this is where we are. We know this is where we are. This is the end, right? 
that and that's freedom, right? That is a type of freedom that that no other civilization ever had. But it's freedom coupled with responsibility and the understanding of, of the great suffering um, that's ahead, right? Not just just my personal suffering, uh, suffering for all humans and all species, right? I mean, yes, the species that are being uh, funneled, you know, to be slaughtered for for meat, but also koalas burning in trees, elephants having their ivory harvested, you know, penguins losing their habitat. Um, you know, the, the suffering is so tremendous across so many species. And we have um, the knowledge of that suffering and that that suffering is leading to this, this final result. So, um, yeah, being a doomer is, is a very unique perspective. Uh, I invite people um, in general out there, whoever you are, um, to be, um, yeah, wouldn't you know it, just as I'm saying this, there's, there's this um, critter that joins the chat who decides, let me spam one more time. And that's exactly collapse, right? This is collapse. Collapse is, let me ask for sex from a bunch of doomers just joining my channel. Um, so, gosh, there's almost no better way to end this thing right now, is there? So...